struggling with how to put together the uh, you're struggling with how to put together exercise one on lesson three right we're doing print formatting and if you googled it it should have given you quite a bit of information on uh, how that works but the key to understanding is that your create the method that you're creating in this case doesn't do any calculations or anything it's just formatting your receipt line by line right so if i had so the way it were the way like a method works right is normally i'd have uh let's say i did like an average right so i can say average so i'll make a or i'll make a function that's that's uh that calculates an average right and i'll just say one two and what it'll output is it'll print the output of uh, one. Uh, let's go one plus two, and then we'll divide that whole thing by two. I think that works. No. Too many parentheses. There we go. Right. So what I want to do here is I want to say uh, let's go oh, equals int or let's go with float input. Uh, please enter a number. Right. Got a parenthesis. So then we'll say does equals float input, and then we'll say please enter a number there. So then what I want to do is I want to call average. So I want to call the average and then I want to take my inputs from here and I want to plug them in for one and two. So what happens here is when I call this method, uh, the variable one takes on the value of uno, the variable two takes on the value of dos, it makes the calculation and prints it out. So if I run this and I don't get any errors, yeah. Using Java there. Let's go five to seven. Average should be six point oh. Okay, so that's how the method actually works. If I'm formatting one line, what I what I was originally wanting you to get was uh, I would have take all your pricing information, right? So you'd be like item item one equals uh, input because it's a string please enter first item oops I put input and then uh, price one equals and that's going to be a float why am I using float instead of int because it could be a decimal because it absolutely will be a decimal, right? Because you're doing price information. Uh, please enter the price. If I do this, and then I'm also going to calculate total, or actually subtotal, right? calculate tax and then I'm going to calculate final total right other things I'm going to do I'm going to input two more items and prices okay now we're going to create a, 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 a function that's going to format our receipt for us line by line it doesn't need to do any calculations it doesn't need to do anything fancy it's just creating one simple line 
So if I were to, let's just call this def print line. And it takes in item and price. So your job here is to format a line, right? So you're going to print and then you use like the brackets, which you would have hopefully Googled, right? And then you will say dot format item price. Okay. It's uh, don't use this exactly, right? Your job is to look it up in the, uh, let's see, no, not there. Your job is to look it up in the lesson, make each line of your receipt look like this, right? This one here is just a simple print statement. These two here are just two simple print statements. But all this stuff in here, all the line items in your receipt should have the exact same formatting, right? So your job is to make this uh, format correctly for all these different items, including all three inputs, uh, total, tax, and the final total. Okay? Questions on that? So far. Okay, if there's no questions... Then all you have to do when you're done with all this is you say uh, print, print line, right, item one, price one, right? And what that's going to do is item is going to take on the value temporarily of item one, and price is going to take on the value of price one temporarily. Right, and then it'll print one of these lines for you. We call it again item two, price two, same thing. Item will temporarily take on the value of item two, price will temporarily take on the value of price two, and you'll get a new line printed but with different price information. And the same goes for. Uh, you can do like your subtotal, right? This is the confusing part is that uh, you're still running print line, right? But let's say instead of item, we haven't taken in an item name, but all your totals are going to look, all your subtotals are going to look the same, right? You just go subtotal. So you put in a string for that. So now item takes on the text value that we put in here and then I can do price which is whatever variable that I put in for my subtotal you guys have questions on that right now I would ask questions now rather than later okay that's how you do it please let me know if you need help